everybody. You've reached Life Mix, and this is Jen coming at you. And I'm coming at you today with a project share. And this is a collab hosted by Jan's Crazy Life and Tina's Crafty Life. And if you hear singing in the background, that would be my 11-year-old. So, anyway, it is the one, <laughs> it is the one word challenge. So we are given a word, and we are to do something that inspires us related to this word. And the first word is book pages, or book page. Okay. So I might have had a moment. So this is the project. This was a simple little paper mache box that I actually picked up for 75 cents at the Dollar General store. And this was a stamp. It was a Hobby Lobby stamp that I got on clearance for like $1.35. These are some Martha Stewart stamps. Uh, this is a Tim Holtz sticker piece and as you can see I stamped all the way around the images modge podge the book pages then just went over it with a little bit of black paint and then, I made a tiny little book, as you can see, stamped inside of there. And this was just some scrap paper I had laying around. And then that was a brad, and I just took the back part off of it and I just made a little book so I'll probably go over this with some white gesso so that I can actually write in here maybe or I might just put little pictures in here but this had a theme as you can see Mr. American Literature Edgar Allan Poe in honor of his raven. So, and this is actually my mother just recently gave me a set, the full set from like the 1970s Funk and Wagnalls Dictionary. So, that's an actual page from the dictionary. And since I am not selling this, I am making this for my personal use. I figured it was okay, so I suppose if it's not, the powers that be will let me know. But again, so I thought about setting it up as a little vignette type thing. So for Halloween. But anyway, so that is what I made with my one word being book page. And this is what I came up with. So, I'm really digging it. I love Halloween. So, again, what better way to work in a book page than a crafty goodness of spookiness? So, anyway, please check out all the lovely crafters that will be listed down below. And we will be posting um, every weekend in the month of September. So that's Friday, Saturday, or Sunday for this particular collab. So thank you very much, everyone, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.